Police in Fairfield, Connecticut are donating some of their surplus gear to the war efforts in Ukraine. CBS News Tony Aiello has more on how these bulletproof vests are going to protect more than just soldiers. I'm Tony Aiello in Fairfield, Connecticut, where 200 ballistic vests <laughs> and dozens of protective helmets are ready to ship to Ukraine. Used equipment once stored in police department lockers that's been replaced by newer models, but still effective and high on the list of supplies requested by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. You wear that thing every day, blood, sweat, and tears every day, and you hope that it can go to someone who they can protect themselves or their family. In the war zone, Ukrainians are using donated ballistic vests in creative ways, such as protective lining to stop flying shrapnel. So they're going to stop glass, they're going to stop maybe metal. They're going to be able to keep an aid worker safe. You might be able to line the door of an ambulance with this and keep the patient safe. The gear, a gift from 12 local police departments. Many in Fairfield County are responding to the call to help Ukraine with enthusiasm and generosity. Supply drives are gathering tons of goods, much of it going to refugees in Poland and other countries. This G.I. Joe pocket comb came with a note. Maybe a little boy could think of how brave his father, uncle, brother is, who may have had to stay home to defend his country. God bless Ukraine. I think it's a reflection of a community in America making a connection with the people of Ukraine. You know, what I've seen is anytime anybody gets an opportunity to make a difference and to contribute to this cause, they do so. Combat veteran Alex Plitzis has deep connections in Ukraine and is coordinating shipment of these supplies. He won't discuss the exact route. That part we're trying to keep a little uh, a little quiet for the moment just because the sensitivities in the Russians said that they're going to be targeting the, those types of supplies coming over. Help from peaceful suburbs heading to a war zone 4,500 miles away. In Fairfield, Connecticut, Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.